A lot of people want traffic on their website, massive traffic, massive inflow uh, generation, however you want to call it. There's a lot of different uh, uh, people just searching for traffic online. What does it really mean? What can you get from the targeted traffic? Stick around, like, subscribe. Let's begin. So a lot of people ask me if I can bring in quality traffic to them. And that's exactly what I do. For me as a lead generator, somebody who's been in digital marketing world for over 15 years, the main point is to bring organic, real traffic to the websites. There is a huge difference uh, between buying traffic online, which is what a lot of people try to do. And they find out that there is a lot of visits, but not uh, sales or not many engagement or nothing at all. And the problem there is if you're not bringing the real organic traffic that people are going to stick there and retarget them after that, you're not going to get much out of the traffic. You can bring 34,000 people and not have any sale, or you can bring 2,000 people in the last 30 days and have over 1,000 sales, or you can bring 5.6 thousand people in the last 30 days and have over 30 sales. It really depends on the high-end items, on the ticket prices, on what you're offering, how new you are, if they know your brand, if they know your awareness, uh, if you've done any awareness campaigns and people know who you are. And it's very important to make sure that you uh, make a difference between traffic as the source for a lot of people to come and visit your website and also uh, targeted traffic. Now, there's going to be a few things that to note here, and that's uh, it doesn't matter how many people visit your website. It's all about if they're really interested buyers. And what I mean by that is a lot of my clients, uh, like this one right here, uh, when you take a look at the traffic sources, it's mostly from email marketing that we do for them and also for um, SMS marketing. So it's multi-channel marketing channels that bring a lot of traffic to their websites. Uh, but the targeted traffic, and you can see the drops always on Saturday and Sunday because that's that's when we don't do uh, uh, marketing. You can see exactly what I do for them. So Saturday and Sundays are going to be bad, and then Monday are going to pick up again, and there's going to be a lot of traffic uh, Monday, Monday through Friday because this uh, client really can only offer services Monday through Friday, renewing on the licenses, things like that. So I'm not going to go into details what my clients offer, but keep this in mind. If you have 50 seconds, almost a minute engagement versus 12 seconds engagement, there is something right right here. Even though there is a lot uh, less, less traffic than my other client, uh, this client is doing a lot better because um, he has targeted email lists, targeted SMS list numbers. And we are sending massive emails, massive SMSs, and he brings people back home where they sign up and they actually fill in the forms, they go to the landing page and we book them. They actually renew the licenses through his website, they actually take action and that's the whole point. And another thing that I want to say is um, always build landing pages for massive traffic. They're going to bring down your engagement time and Google will see that. So do not uh, bring people to your main page because of the SEO problems down the road. You want to have a landing page where you want to bring all your people. And if you need a lot of traffic, targeted traffic, make sure you have good email lists, good uh, uh, SMS lists, or good phone numbers so that people can call and bring people to the landing pages. Um, even, even that works in today's world. Although if I have agents on the phone working for you, I'll try to get them to sign up right there on the phone because it's uh, it makes more sense uh, than taking those people to the landing pages. Landing pages are more for SMS marketing and email marketing. So um, those are the two ways to bring people, actually three ways to bring people to the landing page if you if you had the cold calling, but they're not the only ones. I do have one more analytic that I really can't show, but for example, with the paid traffic on Google ads, uh, one of my clients is bringing over 10K users per month, even more, I think, in paid traffic, and he's not generating as much uh, uh, profits than from my cold email marketing. Uh, the reason is, again, it's because the targeted lists will always win over those general ads, general lists, whatever. So if you're just uh, aiming for the traffic, don't do that because the traffic is not going to bring you anything unless it's very generic, very targeted and very organic traffic that actually needs your services. So that's one thing that to keep in mind. Or if you're a brand new company, you're a brand new brand out there, 
you have to make sure to keep bringing those people back over and over again because they're used to buying somewhere else. They're used to going to the specific websites and they need a strong enough reason to believe that you're a real person, real brand, that you're somebody who they can trust and that's where you win them over. So it takes some time. So keep that in mind. So massive traffic is possible, but massive traffic is not everything. You have to make sure that you have traffic that is targeted and that you keep on bringing back until they become subscribers, buyers, etc. So this is just a short video on traffic, massive traffic. You can bring as many people as you want on the website. You can even pay for the traffic, but that's not the point. The point is to bring people that are going to turn into clients and customers and that are going to make you money. Uh, I'm going to do a few videos in the next few days about SMS marketing, what you can expect from that and how to increase organic reach and also targeted traffic on your website. Like, subscribe this video if you liked it and share around so people can see this. Thanks. Bye-bye.